Okay, so this car came in running and it's very running very rough. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a carburetor adjustment and uh show you how to make it run with. But the thing is to uh first thing you ever do is check the timing. Adjust valves. The valves. The first thing you have to do is adjust the valves. First of all, after you check your valves and there everything is fine, then you can go ahead and plug in your timing light. Make sure that if your timing light has a directional where the spark plug is, you put it the right way. I'm not trying to dig all the way in there. I noticed it makes no real difference in a motor like this try to get it all the way next to the spark plug but on a race motor i would definitely try to do that put it all the way to the spark plug if possible power ground and uh let's let's i already unhooked the linkage on that side i was gonna start doing that but then i decided to make a video for for people that ask me if you guys want me to show you a video of how to adjust valves i'll do a video separately on how to do the valves but for now we're gonna focus on just getting the engine running right not to wrap your engine when you have this in it if you have an engine like mine on my car this um exploded he sucked it right through the bottom and he broke it and it stopped working so if your um meter doesn't go to zero like this and it's kind of like this bouncy a little bit on the zero or the negative before, before one um uh, it's not working if it's stuck or if it's reached a number when it's when it, nothing is going through it and reach a number it's no good throw it away by another one okay so hopefully okay, it's running i hooked up the linkage again make sure we get it out we're at zero we're at ten as high as you want to run it um there's like i said if you have more altitude where you live you can throw more timing at it like 33 34 35 if you have a really low compression engine you can go as high as 40 that's what i noticed with the engines the weaker the engine is the older the engine is the bigger the piece of shit it is and more timing you throw at it the more they run better so this one right here it's a fairly new motor so right now i'm going to move on to the uh carburetor adjustments
mixture screw. Start turning in the mixture screw or out and listen for a reaction of the engine. Come down, back out. Then you go to the back one. You go in, back, back out. Man, up, wrapped up. Wrapped up. Now, you have this mixture. Bring it back down to seven. You get the idle speed. Get the idle speed right back down to seven again. We're at seven again. Right? Then you mess with the mixture again. I like it. Back out. Back one. Number one. Tighten it up. Good. Okay, back out. You go in until the motor starts to die out and you back it out. Then you go on this side. It's a fucking eight. It's a little above seven. So let me bring it back down.
Different. Carburetors, you have to touch them, you have to play with them, you have to learn how to use them. 